negative consequences to animals are a result of doing something wrong. And it's, it's bad practices on the part of farmers that result in issues for the animals being overstressed, needing antibiotics uh, at an inappropriate time or, or level. The good thing is it's something we can control and improve upon. It's difficult for a consumer to know or for an importer to know when a product is coming to the market, whether it was handled with the right animal welfare practices. The only way to know is to inspect the facility at the point of production. That's third party certification. When a separate entity comes in, looks at the practices of a farm and makes sure that they're doing it correctly and that you know the environment is protected, that the animal is protected, and that the workers who are on that farm or in that process are, are protected. So looking for certifications like the Best Aquaculture Practices or the Aquaculture Stewardship Council will give you that reassurance that the farm is doing the right thing and using the right practices, not just in animal health and welfare, but in the environment and social as well. The biggest concern with animal health and welfare occurs at harvest and slaughter. And it's very important that we use humane practices and respect the health of the animals and the lives of the animals. It's also important during their routine husbandry and grow out of the animals to reduce stress at every step in the production process, especially at those points where the animals might be transferred from one production unit to another or handled in any way. By and large, it's a journey that we're on, and that journey is, is one of revelation and research and science that's getting us to a better place. So not only do we have healthier animals, we have more of those animals that survive through the full growth cycle. Nobody wants to see something they've invested a lot of money into, whether it's a corn crop or a wheat field or an animal that's under being grown, not reaches maturity and so the understanding through education and research as to what causes disease issues or mortality issues um, is really probably the biggest stride that we're making and we need to continue to make.